Welcome to another vlog. I'm so excited to just spend the next few days with you. I have quite a bit going on, so I thought I would pick up the camera and just start the vlog. I did my makeup this morning. I did it a little bit more glam than I would usually do, but that's because I have a lot going on and you see that box over there. Remember the box that I didn't unbox with you in the previous vlog from Dove. This is it. So I'm filming for them this morning. But before I get started, I actually wanted to show you my outfit. I'm wearing this really, really cute set. It's from Mango. I got it in Turkey, but I'm pretty sure you can get it. Um, but I love the like ribbed kind of detail. It's like high waist and has like a little um, ribbon kind of string over here and I've also been getting a lot of questions on my slippers they are actually from Edgar's they were so affordable but I've been getting quite a bit of questions um, because I've been showing them in my stories so that is my outfit for this morning though I'm gonna change my outfit probably quite a bit today depending on how far I get with my content but I have quite a bit of filming to do for a bunch of different campaigns but whatever I don't get done today I'll kind of work in throughout this weekend and I will definitely show you that but I need to start filming on this Dove campaign so I don't know what this is just yet but I have to have a look um, before I start filming just to have like a better idea on like what I'm filming <laughs> um, I obviously know like the campaign and all of that but I just sometimes there's a lot of surprises within like PR deliveries which I love but for like heavily curated content it's obviously important I think I want to film the outside on my phone first Are you actually joking? Do you see what this is? Can you guess what this is? Do you see what this is? Dove! I'll give you a clue. What? That is crazy. Oh my gosh, now I'm excited. I love like surprises like this with campaigns. Oh, it literally just like, it's like Christmas. Like honestly, like Christmas. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that this is a canvas looks like a canvas are we gonna have to paint something Ooh, millions of people in the world express themselves through their hair dove wants to encourage people to love their hair and celebrate it without fear of doing something different when they feel like it be confidently you with dove hair Ooh. yep we are gonna paint <laughs> i haven't painted in years so i'm so excited it says jessica van yerden today marks the beginning of an exciting partnership what you will find in this box are a few things that we hope will make your hair journey even better and inspire you to keep expressing yourself with confidence so yeah i think that obviously in here we'll have some paint supplies and I'm gonna paint that canvas I'm gonna keep it for when I'm shooting some of my content because I think it'll look really really cute and then we have a little hair dryer and um, this hair towel I love these I actually I've been meaning to buy a new one so it's almost like they read my mind I love these for my hair it's like a micro fiber uh, material almost like a blanket material and it's in this weird little shape that you literally put it on top of your head and then you kind of like twirl it. And then there's a little button for you to secure it. But yeah, I'm really excited to be working with Dove. When they reached out to me, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, because obviously love hair care and I've used their products before for my hair. Not the intensive repair though. And I've been 
kind of like using a bit more heat on my hair than I would want to so I really want to take on this journey and share it with you so yeah, thanks so much to them for working with me and for my lippies for supporting me of course I am gonna get started on this content and I will show you some behind the scenes I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights yeah. sort out all the lies oh baby yeah oh, no. there was a part of me that knew that and still I'm caught by surprise oh. I thought you'd always be mine oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes so I had a quick change of outfit it's so hot today it literally feels like summer i'll show you my outfit when we're inside bright and co so i drove here quickly i'm so sad that the clear water one closed down during COVID because it was always so easy to just pop in there so bright and co and euro suit they are always so lovely with dressing us for like events and stuff so tonight we have a really glam exciting rouge dinner with brutal fruits and it's so weird so weird that um dove chose this photo to put on the box because it was like a brutal fruit post i guess so i can't wait to like paint that and maybe like even include it in some of my brutal fruit content i have one little thing to shoot quickly before we leave but i want to kind of incorporate my outfit and like my dress into it so yeah i'm at bright and co and euro suit to pick us up an outfit so obviously it's like rouge themed so i'm thinking gold reds blacks i don't know we'll have to see yeah, yeah. and i thought it's time i'm letting you go this time i know it for sure I just thought i should let you know spritzer we're watching the rugby and i'm gonna start dinner soon i've literally been shooting content the whole day and i really want to take advantage of my my makeup being done and like this red lip and everything so i'm shooting another piece of content for brutal fruit that's going up 
in this coming week i think but i didn't really like show you behind the scenes because i wanted to be a complete surprise so i'm having my spritzer and i'm going to prepare dinner with you i got this really cute pizza from woolies i like the look of it i'm also going to use it for my content so i'm going to put this in the oven and that's what we're going to have right now Tomatoes are something that I absolutely love. Like as a kid, I literally had them so much and I have to be careful with them because they are quite acidic, but literally like I will literally crave them. And it's something that's honestly one of my favorite things with olives and just, I can literally have it with my breakfast, with my lunch, with my dinner. And in Turkey, we they had these tomatoes that were kind of, in quarters but they were peeled and they were kind of dressed and I don't know what the recipe is I don't know what it's called but I kind of tried to recreate it the other day and I think I think I'm very close to well what I remember and it kind of had like a sweet salty and sour taste all together so I'm gonna make it and I thought I would share it with you so I already have my tomatoes peeled and now I'm just gonna kind of cut them in quarters and put them in my little bowl I have lemon and I'm gonna add a couple more things in there like black pepper aromat like salt and then a little bit of honey I think if you don't have honey and if you don't like the taste of it you can also use sugar or like sweetener I think but a honey tasted really good in this It is a day or two later now. Oh my god. Tacking me. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a day or two later now and <laughs> I have complete chaos in the room because I'm busy. Oh that nearly like cut my throat. Um I'm reshooting content for Brutal Fruit because I wasn't too crazy. <laughs> about the content that i shot this weekend as i said before i nearly got attacked by a cannon <laughs> i'm reshooting and i didn't really like the content that i created on saturday i don't know i just it's just the way i am like when i don't absolutely love something i just i would rather just refilm and like be really excited about it i also shot some content yesterday <clears throat> that I didn't show you but I'm gonna kind of continue today and I'll show you little bits of it but now I have a really exciting meeting and it's regarding the new house and like the bathrooms oh my gosh I don't know if I should have the meeting in the trace though and this is just an accident about to happen <laughs> Louis, you can tell I'm really excited. I quickly changed and I wanted to just step out for a moment because <laughs> the kids were really like loud and like running around and screaming in my apartment complex and I don't know about you but I'm so sensitive to sound and I just get so irritated when things aren't like peaceful and calm. <laughs> One day I'm gonna have my own kids and I'm not gonna be able to like run away like this but anyways I'm so excited to share with you like the bathrooms and really excited for that to unfold in the next couple of vlogs i feel like very very far in the distance i can see a little light shining <laughs> and it's really really exciting and i just wanted to hold on to this excitement for as long as i can and not have anything take it from me 
Um, so yeah, I'm at the car wash because this car is so dirty. Um, so I thought I would just pop it in for a wash. I think it's going to take like 30 or 40 minutes. And then whilst I do that, I can just like walk around a little bit. I think we need chicken. I need to get some flowers. I need to get a couple of things. Um, so I'll just bring you along. It is obviously the next day standing in my closet because I'm about to get dressed. It's a little bit hot today and the sweater dress is making me sweat. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to get changed. I don't know if you noticed yesterday after I stopped vlogging that the car wasn't clean and I nearly got upset about it. I was upset for a few moments but then I was just like it's fine. Everything in the house, like at the new house, you can forget about going there and leaving with clean clothes or a clean car like inside and outside sometimes because everything is just so dusty so maybe it's for the best hopefully i can have a clean car once everything is like over and done with but yeah i thought i would just continue the vlog because i know you wouldn't be very happy with me um if i didn't show like a little bit of new house content so i was actually thinking um, I'm going to change, um, I filmed some content, so I'm going to look at that and then have lunch and then I have a meeting for the new house regarding like the cupboards and potentially the kitchen. We actually got a message this morning about the kitchen and the cupboards will be ready um, in three days from now and then potentially installation will be done a week and a half from now so who knows i don't know but i'm having like a couple of backup plans so i'm going to discuss like pricing and designs and all of that and i'll show you a little bit of the meeting and then i thought we could maybe pack some things and then hopefully like move them to the new house like things that we don't really need because space is a little bit of an issue but yeah, let me change and then i will catch you up later today dressed in all baby blue um but yeah, i think i'm going to spend the day here and do a couple of things i do however have a little bit of work to do before i like jump into that but yeah, i just wanted to like do a couple of things i haven't been here the whole week and also wanted to include a little bit of like house new house content into the vlog because i know you are all very curious um so we had the meeting yesterday and um yeah i don't know <laughs> it's so difficult um but we'll have to see i am kind of meeting with different people to just see what my options are but as of now like i don't know what's gonna happen with the new kitchen and i also got a quote for like the studio i'm in the studio right now look my um like studio backdrop came oh my gosh so i got it from take a lot and it's literally just like a backdrop that's gonna go like in the space i mean the studio i will show you it in due time i promise i've just been like planning and like thinking of designs and things that i want to do and obviously the kitchen saga and like the bedroom and cupboard saga has been taking up all my energy <laughs> um but i think i'm gonna spend the day here and 
kind of bring you along but I do have a little bit of work to do so I'm gonna do that first So I'm about to get back on this painting. I have my gloves on because this is actually like different paint to the other one that I was using. It's enamel, so it's quite difficult to get off actually. It's not like water-based. Um, so I just got these little gloves, but I think I'm going to paint this unit today. I also, <laughs> I have the drawers taken out. I literally spent like an hour the other day taking them out and like the runners, I literally took all of them out because obviously they were covered in paint. If you didn't know about the kitchen and covered and bedroom saga, I will link the video. <laughs> down below but basically I got a professional to come in and paint the wardrobe cupboard and it turned out to be a very very unprofessional mess and now I'm left with cleaning it up um so yeah I took the runners off and I tried to oh my hands are full of paint now I tried to um like clean them whilst being off of the cupboard and it looks like they have been saved. No like stickiness. The only ones that I can't get off is this cupboard. So if someone knows how to get these ones out, please let me know. I don't know if I'll have to like unscrew them and just have like two people help me. Because this is, I'm, I'm assuming this is quite a heavy unit. So I don't want to like injure myself. Um, but yeah, that is the update. Good morning. So I'm in the car and I literally painted till like half past eight last night. But I really wanted to kind of get the drawers done and the doors for like the tv unit and i really just wanted to see what it looks like and if it needs another coat because i'm obviously fixing someone else's problem um with like the mess of the professional coming in and painting everything and not doing a very good job um but i'm really excited to be in pretoria and i wanted to kind of end off this vlog with a little bit of a sneak peek into the next vlog so i will end off with a few clips regarding my selections for the vanities and like some of the final finishes like the bathroom mixes and just so many exciting things but i will share like a full vlog with you next um but yeah if you like this video let me know if you liked this home series and like like kind of like where this channel is going um i would love to know i've been doing quite a bit of vlogs and I've really been trying to try and incorporate some homey content into each vlog. Um, so I hope you like that. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye, babies.